coming back to the channel and thanks for watching. Uh, if you clicked on that thumbnail, you probably like Star Wars like we do here at the Electric Starship Arcade. If you look around the arcade, you're going to see hidden Star Wars stuff everywhere. We have posters and uh, paintings on the wall. Just everywhere you look, there's something Star Wars hidden around the arcade. But I thought we would talk today about all the Star Wars arcade games and pinball machines that we have. I think we have the most on the floor than anybody right now, uh, at least in this local area, I'm sure, but uh, maybe in the world. Who knows? Uh, let's check it out and let's see what all we're going to play today. So we're going to start with Star Wars by Data East. This was a game that came back and came out in the early 90s. And uh, we have added something to it. We've added a color dot matrix display. This display was just in orange monochrome when we first had it. So I'm going to turn it on. We're going to just play a ball or two and see how it goes. how one ball goes down. No, we're down a ball. That's fine. So, Brindley, our esteemed camera person here today. Thank you so much, Brindley. That Focus on R2D2 really quick. I wanted to see him. Isn't that pretty cool? And that ball broke right there. Yeah, that ball drained instantly. This is how you make a video, folks. Quick. That's, that's what we're trying for today. All right, so the third ball that, that lets you broken. actually shoot at the Death Star. You see it opened up. So on this side, we're going like really so I can get it into the Death Star. And do we have a shot at this? We're not calling it. Some of these pins may not be on the floor anymore. We may rotate them back. So. The anyway, Star you. Wars, that east, awesome. Let's move on to Stern. All right, so now let's talk about our newer Star Wars pinball machine that I have right next to that Daddy East. This is Stern's Mandalorian. So hit show on Disney Plus. They made a uh, pinball machine out of it, and I was super excited because they have some great artwork on this one as well. We've added side art to the insides of there, and this is by Wizard Mods out of Canada, the side art. I didn't really love Stern's art blades, 
there. So uh, this one does have some other ads too. It has the little shift knob from the Razor Crest that Grogu plays with or Baby Yoda, if you know him by that. It also has some side armor here. You can see people's rings kind of chip that away in a public setting. So that was nice to put on there. Uh, so we're gonna play a couple balls of this too and see how it does. And this one's got some neat features. We go up the ramp here, get inside the Mando's helmet. I probably won't be able to do that on camera, we'll see. Um, so let's check it out. I love the, the Mando uh, theme, the little, it's like kind of like a Western, it's pretty cool. So it plays that. And I just wanna see if we can get up the bar. I got up one ramp, almost got up the second one. Cause I'd love to be able to activate that upper play field for you. multi-ball on this too, who knows? Alright, so in this situation we have started a multi-ball. There's different multi-balls you can access by going under the razor crest here. This is the Pirates multi-ball. Ahsoka mode, I guess. Deceive the Magistrate! That's the game, nobody said I was good. So come play it when you get a chance. All right, so this one is fantastic. This is Star Wars Battle Pod. I never thought I would own this. It's a little echo in here because we've got a much bigger room. This is Star uh, Starship Theater. Let me jump in this thing. Let me get some shots of this beautiful cabinet. Now they make this in a big, environmental that you can get inside with projectors and everything. Uh, but this is the one that fit the Starship certainly better. So let's check it out. Fantastic, you got, you know, speed here, you can accelerate and brake. You also have a nice light yoke here. Uh, you know, your flight joystick here. Proton torpedoes on the top and laser on the bottom. You can play the easy level, Battle of Yavin, just like the movie. Just like in the movie. And it has some of the most beautiful graphics you've ever seen. You also have Death Star 2, Indoor Hawk, and the hard one here, being extremely hard, being Vader's Revenge. We're just gonna go with Yavin, just so we can have some comparison with all our Star Wars games. It's all about blowing up the Death Star uh, and being Luke. And this one has, again, some of the most fantastic Death Star approaching. Estimated time to fire range is 15 minutes. We must destroy the Death Star before it gets to the range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Lock this foil in attack position. Accelerate to attack speed. I'm such a Star Wars fan, I still get chills when I see it. Watch it, you got one on your tail. Good shot. You can laser him in, or if you can get the red focus square to light up. That's high, take it You can shoot a proton torpedo out. Come on, help me out over here. I can't take it. Thanks. I guess Proton torpedo. 
It's just like the movie. So to me, this is a uh, a lot like Star Wars Trilogy, which we'll be looking at next. A oh, one star! Shame, shame. And now we have one of my favorites. I say that on every one of them because I'm a big Star Wars fan. This is Star Wars Trilogy Arcade by Sega. This is a game that came out in the 90s, and it was a blast. So you can see, uh, these cabinets used to be everywhere, and I mean, I would just stare at the Return of the Jedi, poster art, the fantastic marquee. We got this at an auction probably about five or six years ago now, you know, the time is starting to slip for me, we've been doing this for a while. But before the Battle Pod, uh, this was the way to play it and blow up the Death Star and that sort of thing. So come on, Brunley, let's shoot. I like to give you the opening scene of the movie. It's the classic. And start her up and see here. So in this one, it does have the Death Star too, but you have to battle the other uh, and defeat the other levels in order to get to it. You have Endor, Hoth, and Yavin. We'll go to Yavin just because blowing up the Death Star is what it's all about. <clears throat> the other thing this game does too is it has some first-person shooter. That uh, game would have to go off, wouldn't it? It has some first-person shooter modes where you're on Hoth kind of wandering around. You also can fight Darth Vader and Boba Fett with your lightsaber. So you play the role as Luke, it feels like, a lot in this game. So now I know coming off Battle Pod, these graphics are near what the other game was. But the first time we saw this in the 90s, losing our minds. Okay, so here we are, classic trench level, right? And uh, again, super, super, super amazing. Because this is, you just felt like you were, again, in the movie. Just like in the movie. Now, not so much like we just got out of the battle pod, but definitely super fun, still a fantastic game. And Sega was putting out some really cool games at the time that had these kind of graphics. Now I will tell you, this one's a little harder to hit the exhaust port on. So I want you to press the event button to shoot the torpedoes. And I'm probably gonna miss a couple times. So you gotta get Han to knock them out for you. Kind of nerve wracking. Oh my gosh, I almost missed that. Check this out right in the exhaust port, mission complete, and so long, Death Star. Really, what do you think? What had the better graphics? <laughs> <laughs> this one, obviously. Oh, uh, obviously, this one. <laughs> This is Star Wars Trilogy Arcade. Hope you enjoyed that. Now we're gonna kick it old school and break it back into the 80s and check out what was to offer back when these movies were coming out. All right, so now we're on to one of my favorites, but not necessarily critically loved. Uh, this is Atari's 1984 classic, Return of the Jedi. Now this is a rare game. It did use the Star Wars flight yoke that the Atari Vector Star Wars used uh, and Empire Strikes Back. We're gonna look at those in a minute. But it works a little differently because this has a raster monitor that was a vector monitor in those games. And this raster monitor, the standard resolution here, you actually are in this 
kind of a isometric, almost cubertish a little bit, but a little different. You're uh, more like paper boy. So you're running at an angle here. So I'm just gonna take the easy route. The music and the, this is like uh, early voice acting or sound bites from the movie is really, really cool. One of the only games you play is Princess Leia, actually, which is pretty cool. Oh my gosh, do you see the death? How quick was that? I want to try to at least get to the Death Star so you can see that this game has some really cool different levels. And since it's Return of the Jedi, no Hoth, no... So you're not seeing Empire, you're not seeing, uh, oh, you know, the Battle of Yavin anymore. So there's little Ewoks through here and they will run a trap on you like that. So you got to be through the traps before they are. Golly, can I just get off this level? I'm already down to one man. Uh, we're going to have to gun it through the Ewok trap there and there. And you're just trying to, it's really cool because you're on speeder bikes. But the trees, you're having to dodge them. Is it that cool? I love that. Now you're playing as Lando Calrissian. Again, not a lot of games where you play as Lando. So I love that they did something different here. You're shooting interceptors and you're going inside the Death Star 2 to try to blow up the core. It should be the power generator. And, um, oh. oh my gosh, I don't even believe I made it through that. I think I earned an extra life. That might have been what that noise was. We're about to lose it, so. You don't want those things behind you. Go to the power regulator the All right, so I shot that, and I got to get back out, which is uh, in reverse. It's really tough. Just like that, I'm dead. Go for help. I see this. And it repeats as you get on to the next level. Uh, and there's eventually some levels where you can play as Chewbacca and also play on the um, out in space a little bit, which is pretty cool too. And that's, uh, that's how you die in Return of the Jedi. Did you get to hear the great uh, Ewok Village music? It's just super cool. I love it. I can just imagine those Ewoks dancing now. They actually changed that music in the movie, which is kind of sad they did that. All right, so outside of hearing blitz in the background, some of these are obviously on the same circuit. This is my dream holy grail arcade machine this is the star wars game in the cockpit version with a 25 inch amplifone color vector monitor love 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 this game now this one actually has a few little differences that make it unique and maybe the only one put together in this assortment in the world so this one you'll see has an empire sticker on this we have a vector labs kit on our original Star Wars board <laughs> that allows us to play both Star Wars and Empire Strikes Back in the same machine and I'm going to show you how to do that. The other thing that's pretty unique about this cabinet, if you look at all the, and I'll challenge you to look at pretty much any other Star Wars cockpit out there, you're going to see that, see how the red from the lightsaber and the red from the lasers here? Normally that would create a red glare on the art of Darth Vader. But as you can see, it's yellow. So he's got this kind of yellow uh, sheen. And I don't know much about that. And there is rumor that that is because it's from another, uh, another country. So this may be, a, and I don't know that we would be importing Star Wars cockpits from another country. But if you know anything about that, why this is yellow, and you can, friendly, look at this, zoom in. You can see that we're not talking about a fade job here. You can actually see the red outline, so there's no fading there. It's just yellow artwork, which is super unique. Anyway, I'm gonna get inside this thing and I'm gonna play it, so let's check it out. Now, the first thing I noticed when I got this cockpit for the first time was I have grown significantly since the early 80s. So we're gonna <laughs> buckle, buckle up my knees inside of here and start it. Can you see this fantastic vector monitor here? It is so, so cool. So we're gonna start it up. This one has sound bites too. Good start, Danny boy. And it's really, really cool, because you can, and this was the first time I think movie sound bites were really in the game, or at least one of the very early ones. I'm gonna go ahead and pick hard. So I'm okay at this game. 
If you listen, you'll be able to hear Darth Vader talk. His ship is out there. And these wireframe graphics were some of the earliest 3D graphics. When you hit the TIE Fighters, they explode, of course. When you hit Vader's ship, he just kind of tumbles. Thing. So like every Star Wars game after this, you go fight on the Death Star. And this one has towers. If you take out all 20 towers, you get a bonus. Let's see if we can get all 20. We've already got it down quite a bit here. Now I got 10 towers left to hit. Just missed one, that could have been in. I picked one up there, I got five left to hit. I'm gonna try to drive over here a little bit. I think I just gotta hit one more. There it is, we cleared all the laser towers. It took a hit though. All right, so now, trench. Now, when Obi-Wan says use the force, I didn't understand as a kid, I'm supposed to not shoot my guns and just use the force to get through the Death Star. But you gotta take on some torpedoes if you do that. So it's like you're calming your nerves and running right into a wall. I'm trusting you, Obi-Wan, but this is, uh, I'm starting to run out of shields on hard here. I'm dodging in real life here. And, exhaust port! And that's what it looks like to blow up the Death Star. Back when this game came out. back to it again and it just gets increasingly harder but actually i want to show you how to play empire so you hold down this button and then this button and then let off he could destroy us you get a whole new set of sound bites and a whole new game to play and i think that is super cool so i don't know another i know a lot of the star wars games people have put that kit on it because it allows you to play both empire and Star Wars on original equipment all at the same time. So that's pretty neat. We're going to see the Empire logo come up here. And uh, wow, man, again, chills. I just love it. Uh, so let's see what you do in this. So in Empire, you, I'm just going to pick easy so we can get through it a little quicker. In Empire, you blow up the probots, fight in outer space, but you're that snow speeder again. Now with vector graphics, they didn't, they weren't easily, uh, you know, it's not like snow, right? Because you're playing in the dark. But I at least want to show you what these uh, hat outs look like. It's pretty cool. So you're supposed to shoot the signals out of the air. So here's your hat out. So you can shoot them right in the face. Take them down like that. Or you can use your thumb and shoot a toll cable and it'll knock their legs down, which is pretty cool. These little ones, you just gotta smoke. Watch this here. See the tow cable come out? We have to hit, hit a few more tow cable shots here. Just like that, I'm dropping at ats left and right. All out of tow cables. And that's how you take one out with your ship. So now you're actually in the Millennium Falcon. And you get to play Han Solo. Pretty cool sound bites from the Emperor there. I 
have zero shells. Asteroid. And I didn't get far in the asteroids with zero shields, but that's it. Star Wars, if you want to turn it back, you just hold that button down, then you hold this button down, and you're right back to Star Wars. So, you gotta love it. Well, what do you think, guys? I mean, is that not one hell of an arcade Star Wars collection? We got the original, we got You Play Empire in it. We do have the upright version as well, it's just not out because we have the cockpit out. We have Star Wars Trilogy, Return of the Jedi, Mandalorian, Daddy East Star Wars on pinball, and the Battle Pod. So if you like Star Wars, Electric Starship's the place to be. I hope you enjoyed this. If you haven't already, remember to like this video. It really helps us out a lot. And remember to subscribe to our channel. We are always, always putting out new videos, whether it be restorations or auctions. And we're opening a new arcade this summer. So there's gonna be some a lot of videos on our sister channel, the Time Rift Arcade. Uh, so check us out and may the force be with you.